Hello, I'm Dr. Ben Johnson, and I get a lot of questions. Recently, I've gotten a number of questions related to water and oxygen, and the specific question being dissolved oxygen in water, and, and whether that has to do with our health. Um, a, a friend recently wrote me that, uh, an acquaintance that's a vice president of a water company, wrote him and said that water would not leave his plant unless it had 45 parts per million dissolved oxygen in the water. And, and so what does dissolved oxygen have to do with our health as human beings? And the answer is nothing. Now, if you were a fish, it would be very important. In fact, it would be critical because fish do not breathe air. They have gills and they get their oxygen from dissolved oxygen in water. But we don't have gills, we're not fish, and drinking water with dissolved oxygen, well, our, our stomach is not our organ of absorption uh, for getting oxygen into our bloodstream. We get oxygen by breathing air into our lungs, then the air goes across the membrane and connects with hemoglobin in our red blood cells. And then that's transported through the cardiovascular system in the blood to the body, the organs, the brain, the nerves, the tissues, uh, muscles, wherever that oxygen needs to be uh, to do what the oxygen does. And oxygen is critical. You know, we can, we can literally only live for a few minutes without oxygen. Water is the next most critical thing. We can only live a few days without it. Food, we can live for weeks without food. Uh, so water and oxygen are very critical. It's just that together, uh, dissolved oxygen doesn't have anything to do with, with our health or, or drinking water that has dissolved oxygen in it. So are, there, are they interrelated? Well, yes, actually they are because our blood is 80% water. So um, that transport mechanism, the, the oxygen is eventually transported through the blood, which is mostly water, and, and it is important what that is made of. You want that, the, your, the blood to be, be alkaline, because alkaline, the more alkaline blood is, the more oxygen it transports. And well, will drinking alkaline water make your blood uh, alkaline? Well, not with one glass, or maybe not with a gallon. It takes time, uh, but by eating alkaline foods, by drinking alkaline fluids, we can make small incremental changes in the alkalinity of our body. Our body has this tremendous buffering system, so it's made to try to be as stable as it can. But if we put acid, acid, acid into it, we can eventually begin to overcome that. And if we put more alkaline substance into it, alkaline food, alkaline water, then we can eventually shift that a little bit toward the alkaline side, which is what we want. We want our blood to be nicely alkaline at a pH of about 7.4 to 7.42. And that's the best area for transporting oxygen through the blood in our body. And that's how we get oxygen. So that's my take on dissolved oxygen in water.